In July 2012, John Allison, a member of the board of directors of the Ayn Rand Institute, was named CEO of the Cato Institute, the premier libertarian institution in the country. Also in July 2012, Yaron Brook, president and executive director of the Ayn Rand Institute, granted an interview to Reason magazine, the premier libertarian publication in the country. Here is founder and longtime chairman emeritus of the Ayn Rand Institute, Dr. Leonard Peikoff, speaking in 1992 on the proper objectivist policy for dealing with libertarians. Uh, Dr. Peikoff? Since it's now okay for objectivists to engage in public intellectual discourse with some libertarians, such as talk show host David Brudnoy, as you stated on your show Friday night, how can a rational student of objectivism determine which libertarians are okay to talk with? Well, I think that is a very unfriendly question. And I will give an answer to the question you're asking, because I won't answer the one that you purport to be asking. I do not debate libertarians, and I do not endorse debating libertarians, nor would I ever do it myself, nor have I done it myself from the day I discovered the meaning of libertarianism. Now, David Brudnoy, number one, I was not debating him. I was invited on his show, and I've been on it many times. He is a perfectly cordial and courteous host whose entire goal is to let me speak to his audience which consists of three million people in 38 states and six Canadian provinces. Uh, he in no way debates or intrudes uh, his views on me. In addition, after the question that came across the air, I said to him in the intermission there that I was surprised I'd never heard him referred to as a libertarian. He says, I said, are you a libertarian like with a capital L in the movement? He said, oh no. I'm quote, libertarian hyphen, conservative hyphen, pro-capitalist hyphen, a little objectivist hyphen. In other words, he's using libertarian insofar, this is my understanding anyway of his position, as simply a very generalized term for the overall right-wing viewpoint. Now, I myself wouldn't use the word that way, so we have a linguistic disagreement. That is not the same thing as saying I appeared on a libertarian show or sanctioned libertarianism or debated with them. And I think it is just simply unfair to raise that question. I don't want to debate it any further. Many of the same intellectuals who were associated with the Cato Institute and Reason Magazine in 1992 continue to be associated with them, and neither has changed its philosophical outlook in any meaningful way. Meanwhile, the Ayn Rand Institute's website continues to host notorious writings, stridently arguing against interacting with libertarians in any way, by Peter Schwartz. As well as a collection of every negative statement Ayn Rand ever uttered, about the libertarians of the 70s and early 80s, as though those statements are relevant to today's libertarians. And Nixon is still in danger of losing to McGovern. So, libertarianism hasn't changed, and ARI hasn't changed, yet we're witnessing this institutional rapprochement, as Mr. Spock might say. Most illogical. Among the many possible explanations for these facts, the least likely is that Ayn Rand was wrong when she wrote that contradictions cannot exist in reality. If you've read Atlas Shrugged you should be familiar with the point. Yet, until we get a public explanation from ARI, it seems that that's where things stand.